Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on the Numark Mixtrack Pro 3 bonded with Serato DJ Intro. Um, today I'm going to be showing um, basically how to get this to work with Virtual DJ 8. Um, I've did a previous video but um, I've, I've had some comments. Uh, people um, said I didn't show how to um, use it with how to set it up with virtual DJ and um, I'm gonna get started with that right now basically um, I'm gonna outright say it. you um, so far I've tried it myself and I there is no cracked version of virtual DJ 8 that's out right now that actually works with this um, I've noticed since I had it that they've been updating virtual DJ once or twice a week so um, the version that I used when I first got it and it worked off the bat, I, I do when I checked for the cracked version, I don't I do not see this. So as of right now, I can honestly say there is no cracked version of Virtual DJ. You will have to upgrade to the Pro for ninety nine dollars to unlock the controller, or you can do the Infinity for three hundred, but uh, or or you could do the the monthly payment of twenty dollars. But that's the only way you can get this working. Now, I, I as my, my previous video, I used the trial version, like I said, and you only get 10 minutes of use every, each time. You would have to, um, you would have to clo close out of a virtual DJ, and you will have to go back in. So, um, and so far, I have not seen a map or a device, you know, the little device thing that you use to get it to work. So I can use it with, with virtual DJ Seven Pro because I do have the crack version that. That, that hasn't been released as yet. So, so far, you the only way you get a story much with DJ is if you pay for it. In, in this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna install Virtual DJ. As I don't, I just um, upgraded my computer to uh, Windows 10, so I don't have it installed. I, I, I deliberately didn't install it for this video. And I'm gonna go to open to my computer. I'm gonna go to my to my Chrome browser. I'm already on the site. I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. I'm just gonna go over to downloads. Roger DJ8 PC version. Now I'm going to speed up this part, you know, as you can see it's downloading, I'm going to speed up this part and head straight to the next part to where, you know, you install it. Okay, now my download has finished, I'm going to go right on ahead and install it from right here. Complete, I'm going to choose complete, install. It's finished. I'm going to go and open up Virtual DJ. Now it's going to ask me all of this for the first time. I'm just going to exit on this. Now, as you can see, I don't have it plugged in at all. I don't have my um, I don't have my Mixtrack Pro 3 plugged in. I'm going to plug in right now for the first time. As you can see, it comes on, it comes up. It tells me no device detected. Just plugged in and make no mark make sure Pro 3. Use the sound card. That's it. That's the, all I did. And it basically tells you you have 10 minutes period and stuff like that. Um, now I'm just gonna go and load up my meal map my music. And as you can see I can flip through in the mix. I'm going to pick a song. As you can see, it just loaded. That's all you basically need to do. That's it. That's all you need to do to get this working. Everything working. Samples, it do it the same way. You can see. Everything is working perfectly. I'm 
but that's basically how you get it to work, you know. To load up a song right here, as you can see. Everything does work real well. Yeah, and that's basically how it's done. So that's all you need to get virtual DJ up and running. You can go pay for it or whatever. There's no setting up needed. It automatically sets itself up. Um, okay. Now, I also had a comment that I didn't show how to set up. Um, somebody needed me to show them how to get the um, the mic, the remix decks in the um, Tractor Pro 2. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So I, I believe I, I installed it, but I haven't did anything with it yet. So I guess I don't have to be setting this up right now. Now, this works the same for the forward deck. And if you need to know more about how to use the forward deck, look at my pre pre previous video. I will have a link to my pre previous video. Um, and it's basically telling me this. You would want to go ahead next. And let's leave it a no, 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 no. Okay. Now you have to set everything up. And it's the same thing for the four day. You just choose the four day. So I'm gonna, first going to go down to, I'm going to put this on full screen. I'm going to go to, um, but first, before I do this, let me show you where I get the, again, just remind everyone where I got the, um, the mappers from. Okay. You want to come to this site right here. I will have a link in the description. Uh, it's also under my first video. Um, it's called tractorbible.com and it has the mappers. As you can see, it has mix track quad and stuff like that. So you want to get the mix track pro three. You will see two versions of it here. One says two deck and the other one says four, but no matter which one you take. Well, I haven't downloaded the second one. This one that says two, but I downloaded the one that says four and I downloaded it and it has both the four and the two decks in there. You want to download it and extract it, put it where you want, and you know to find it. Now back to the tractor. Full screen. After you want, you made a, you want to go down to where it says. You want to go down to import. Then you want to select where you where you, where 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 you put your um your mappers. I have mine in music, and tractor as it's right here. Mix track Pro 3, and here it is right here for the, and the other ones for Max. So it's four deck, and it's a standard, which is the two deck, standard two two deck mapping. And one of, uh, let me expand this more. One is with the fader Q start. So when you fade, I, um, I believe it's, it's it just crosses over. It starts the other track, and non fader. I'm choosing the non fader. The no fader. Then you want to go up to your audio. My audio source will be mix track. It should show up here. Mix track Pro 3, right here. Then you want to go to out, right here. The monitoring is that, yes, you want to go down and pick two and three for your, for your, for your, um, your monitor. Then, um, then you could go ahead and oh, then you have to go down to control management, M manager, and you want to select generic. Then you here in the import, you want to select mix track pro three and output mix track pro three, and that's all you need to do. Now I like to do my deck layout. Now see here, you have to make sure it says C and D is remix decks, as if you want your remix decks. Okay. So it's already set to me to remix deck by default since this is my first set setting it up on Windows 10. Then what you want to do is keep C and, and D on micro because even if you put um, essential full or advanced, you will have a whole bunch of rows. Like um, I'll go ahead and explain it. Basically, your remix deck is your sample deck. So you put your samplers, effects, whatever you want in there. Um, and basically, what happens is if I go to like full, as you can see, I have multiple rows right here in the corner. Now, on the controller, it only activates the first ones on the top. It, it doesn't do any 
um, all the others. So it makes no sense to even use those unless you're planning to use the keyboard as well, then that's okay. But I haven't tried it with the keyboard, but I know you can do it with the keyboard to activate the different ones. You, you can map, map it for that if you have so many, um, if you have a, a lot of, uh, you know, samples you want to use. But I usually keep it in a micro. Now I'm going to show you everything that everything is actually working. First, I'm going to show you what the sample is. Now I do have my sample, so now I'm going to explore for it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to music, music folder. I'm going to go to uh, yes, right here, music. And I believe I created a folder called um, if I'm correct, loops or is it in tractor? Samples. Okay, yes, I created a fo a folder inside the, the tractor fo folder. I, I already put it over there before I even did this. This is one that's called samples that I created. Now I'm gonna drag this over here, make it easier to get. So all the samples I want to use is already in here. So all I gotta do is set everything up. So the first thing I want is the foghorn. I'll drag that right here. Second will be the laser attack. I'll drag that right here. You, you can test them out. Turn that on and it sounds different. Okay. Now I want the bullet siren. Turn this on. Now for the second side, for the other side, I want um damn sun where you get this this one. Turn this on as well. Damn son, where'd you find this? Okay. That's what I want. Um I'm gonna pick a there's another one I have in here. So here it's number one DJ and DJ. Let's turn this on. Damn son, where'd you find this? DJ. Now you would have to save this in order to um so when you come back you don't have to keep doing this because I know this with Tractor uh, Pro 2 you have to keep uh doing it every time you come so you 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 can save it. Um now in order to save it you go right here, you put in the ROC and you save remix set. Then you want to go to all remix sets and it should be here. Now you can rename it. Let me get my keyboard. And I'm going to rename this to T samples. I press enter and that's saved. Now I want to go over to D and I'm going to do the same thing. I want to save it. If I go back to all remix sets, it should be here again. Then I'm going to put D. Now, when you save it, everything, all the settings you have here will be saved with it. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to exit out of here and come back and show you exactly how to, uh, how you would do this when you come back, or when you open it up again, how you get the remix deck started. Go back to Tractor Pro 2. And what you want to do is go to all remix sets, it's right here. This is deck C. Drag it to the first one and voila, everything is there. Drag it to the second one, everything is there. And that's it. Damn, son, where'd you find this? And that's all you really need to do.